Ever wondered why heart health is a topic that resonates with people globally? It's because heart attacks are a leading cause of death, yet many of us are oblivious to the symptoms until it's too late. Consider this scenario. It's a typical day and out of the blue, there's a squeezing sensation in the chest. It's not a one-off episode. Rather, it feels like an elephant sitting on the chest. Is it just indigestion or could it be something more serious? Heart attacks can often start with discomfort in the chest, typically lasting more than a few minutes. This discomfort could also come and go, but chest pain is just one piece of the puzzle. Imagine feeling out of breath, even while sitting comfortably on a couch. An unexplained shortness of breath could also be a sign of a heart attack. It might occur with or without chest discomfort. And then there's the cold sweat. Picture this, breaking out in a cold sweat for no apparent reason. It's not a hot day. There's no strenuous physical activity, yet the sweat drips. This too could be a symptom of a heart attack. Let's not forget about the other signs that could be indicative of a heart attack. There could be discomfort or pain in one or both arms, the back, neck, jaw or stomach. Some people might experience a sudden onset of nausea or lightheadedness. But remember, everyone experiences heart attacks differently. Some people might have mild pain, while others may experience more severe pain. Some heart attacks strike suddenly, but many start slowly with mild pain or discomfort. To sum up, a heart attack might begin with a discomfort in the chest that lasts more than a few minutes or that comes and goes. It could involve shortness of breath, breaking out in a cold sweat or discomfort in the upper body. Nausea or lightheadedness could also be warning signs. But don't wait to get help if you experience any of these heart attack symptoms. Even if you're not sure it's a heart attack, getting medical help at the earliest could save your life. After all, when it comes to heart health, it's always better to be safe than sorry.